I did Pomp and Circumstance, and then I was in Studio B at RCA at 12 noon. And that's and that's and that's and that's, and that's where that's where your anniversary. Wow. This is 68 in June, and it's right. June now. It's right. 2017, yeah. and so it's your anniversary. So oh, happy anniversary! Thank I went you. a long way for that one. <laughs> what made you pick singing? Um, it came naturally to me. Um, I always loved to sing. I spent my hours by myself acting things out in the mirror and uh, creating dances and acting and um, singing and music just always brought me joy. And it's, a, it's actually an hereditary. It's very much in the family genes. My mother was a gorgeous singer. She was a soprano. And, uh, of course, my sister. Her sister's Barbara Streisand. <laughs> and I actually had the opportunity to meet her during the Women's March. Uh -huh. I got, to, I got well, to meet her at the Women's oh, March. Oh, well, and I was at the Women's March, but I was, I was at the park. Oh, you were the... We were marching. Okay, yeah, because yeah, I but, saw her. Yeah, and she I actually was... marched with uh, Jane Fonda as well. Right, all right, together. right. And, you know, my nephew sings now, too. Really? Yes, Jason. Wow. You'll have you... to look for his, his, his record when it comes out. Can you sing just a little for me? A little? Just like that? Oh, my God. Oh, wait. Can you read my mind? Do you know what it is you do to me? That's Rosalind. Rosalind, what advice would you give to an up-and-coming singer? To have great faith in yourself. To be strong in spirit and go after your dreams. The path may be long and not so easy, and then again, it may be easy and surprising. But the one thing you must have is belief in yourself, because there's so much negativity in the world, and you have to combat that and, be, and share your, your talent with the world. And you've been sharing your talent all over. You, you, you're all around the world singing. Where can we see you sing here in Los Angeles? Next? Lately, I've been working when I'm here at the Catalina Jazz Club. Ooh. Oh, I like that place. I like that. It's right down here in Hollywood somewhere. Right. Right? So do you, know when, do you know when you're going to do a sing there again? No, I was just there in March. Um, I don't know when the next gig will be, but I'm in the studio recording an album right now. So How many tracks? Uh, right now I'm on my first one, which was a song written in the 80s by me and my musical director, Michael Orland, and Judy Quay. And it's very timely now because it's called The Light of Love. And for what we are all going through emotionally, spiritually, we need to grow in this world and come together. It's such a timely tune right now. Because now that the world is awake and understanding the importance of the LGBTQ community mm -hmm. and not hiding, mm -hmm. how important is this event tonight for you? Very important because all, you know, all minority groups need to be accepted. We're sometimes persecuted, but the LGBT are also lovely, wonderful, warm people. They've been my friends most of my life. They have been my support group. They have been my creative background back up with my clothes and my hair and my and we're just lovely you know I love my LGBT friends they're just the best well thank you for coming to the fourth annual real to real event tell us your website how they can your, your social media handles and how they can follow you my website is www.roslinkind.com I don't, I'm not as active as I should be on there. I have to get to be more active, but I have a few posts on there. But I was very active politically. I'm a <laughs> Thank you. Hi, I'm Rosalind Kine, 
And I'm watching Cassandra Calloway. Was that in tune? I can't hear myself think. It's Cassandra's show. And we're watching it now. So don't go away.